In this video, we'll discuss arraying parts, which is a very effective way of nesting multiple copies of a single part. There are several different methods of arraying parts. Three standard features in ProNest LT are basic array, pattern array, and drag array. First, let's talk about basic array. Using the array feature, you can automatically place multiple copies of the part onto the plate in a grid. So let's start with this rectangular part here. I'll bring BH rectangle over. It's selected now and it's close to the nesting home. That's the upper left corner of the plate for me. All right, now on the parts tab, I'll select array. Okay, and you can see that this rectangular part is now nested it placed as many parts as it could in the array and this creates a regular pattern on the nest. This is giving me pretty decent material utilization right now. So this was a good option for a rectangular part. I could then bring parts over onto the nest you know, and fill this out. I could array this again and ProNest will place that part in a regular grid. In this case it was able to place four more parts. Now I've created a nest with good material utilization. So basic array was a good option for this part. But what if we have a part with a different shape? So I'll remove all of these parts from the nest. And let's look at this one here called PT14-6. Okay. So this part is now selected. It's close to the nesting home. And I will do an array. All right. So the part is placed in a regular grid on the nest. The part is not rotated. It's not fit together with other parts on the nest. So this result is okay, but I probably don't have great material utilization right now. We can look at the number of parts that are placed right here. Over on the right it says 18 parts nested. So that's a decent result, but we can use a different type of arraying to get a better result. So let's select all these and remove them. This time we'll place the same part close to the nesting home, but on the parts tab, select pattern array. So I'll click the arrow right now, and there are three levels to pattern array, basic, intermediate, and advanced. The basic level is the fastest, it's also the least thorough. The advanced option is the slowest, but it also typically gives you the best result, and intermediate is just kind of a balance of the two. Let's select advanced. Okay, so this is the result of a pattern array. Notice that the part is rotated from its original orientation, and there's a little bit better of a fit here between these parts. You can see over on the right that this nest has 24 copies of that part nested, compared to the 18 that were nested with regular array. So a pattern array did a pretty good job with this particular part. All right, we can clear this now. You can also array or pattern array multiple parts. So earlier I created this cluster here containing two parts. Let's use intermediate pattern array for this one. All right, so now Pronus was able to pattern array that cluster. Okay, let's remove these. You can also array or pattern array multiple different parts. So let's say you have some parts in an arrangement that you like. Just select them. This time we'll just do a basic array. And the parts are arrayed on the nest. Next, let's look at dragging to create an array. With drag array, you can quickly place parts in a pattern array inside of a rectangular box on the nest. You can create different array configurations as you drag the mouse around and then see the results instantly. You don't have to wait for pattern array to complete and then see the results. So let's look at that now. I'll select this lug part. Let's add this to the nest. You can see as the part's selected, there's a yellow handle at the top. So 
I can click this handle and then just drag in the direction that you want to create the array. So I'll drag down and to the right. Okay, now you can see that all copies of that part have been added to this array. There's a number indicator in the box. My number right now is 10. This tells me that there's 10 parts included in this particular array. All right, so you can just drag the mouse around to create a configuration that's going to work for you. And then just release the mouse to nest the parts. You can also start a drag array with an anchored part. So if I turn anchor part to cursor on, and then I select a part, now this part is anchored to the cursor. All I have to do is click and drag to begin creating arrays. So I can create pattern array with this one here by just clicking and dragging. And then you can see the results instantly on the nest. So now I have 30 of these parts in the pattern array and just release the mouse in order to nest them. If you want to control the direction of the array, that's controlled by the direction that you're dragging in. So if I start here and click and drag down and to the right, the array will begin at the opposite corner. So in this case, it will begin at the upper left. If you want to control where the array starts, you can just hold the control key and then click and drag. And the array will begin from the point that I clicked at. It won't begin at the corner of the plate. So that can be a handy tool. It gives you a lot of control over the array, and you can also see the results as you're creating the array.